first step of installing the Big Shuriken 2, we're going to get the mounting clips onto the cooler itself. We're going to be using an AMD today, so we're going to use the AMD mounting clips. I've affixed one to this side. They will obviously go on both sides. Very simple setup. The clip goes into place, and it is two screws to hold it down. The back plate will be put into place on the rear of the motherboard. Four screws go through to the front of the motherboard. With screws in place coming through into the main chamber of the case, four rubber grommets go over each screw. This will hold the screw in place as well as act to balance the pressure when the big shuriken is screwed into place. With the screws in place, it's going to be as simple as placing the big shuriken 2 over the screws and tightening the screws from the rear into the four screw holes. The Big Shuriken 2 gives you a very clean install. Once installed inside the case you can see you have just enough room for clearance of all your RAM slots if you're using standard size RAM. Taller RAM, first slot is going to be blocked. As I said, it is a low profile cooler, only 58 millimeters, and as you can see it's very very low profile, coming nowhere near as far out as CP, or the uh, GPU, um, but it does take up a pretty big footprint, so your first RAM slot is going to be blocked on most motherboards. But you do have adequate clearance, as I say, for a standard size RAM. So the Scythe Big Shuriken 2, very low profile, somewhat larger footprint, nice clean install.